What's up guys, it is Bucky, and welcome to your 20th 3DS Max tutorial. So, this tutorial is going to be on lights. And what lights are, are pretty much just like you would think they are. And they actually work a lot of, uh, they're pretty similar to cameras. So if you know how to work with the camera, you know how to work with the light for the most part. But I'm going to go over the uh, different types of lights, the basics. And it's just going to be a real quick overview. We're not going to get into anything uh, too deep or complicated for now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create a plane because we need something for our light to shine on. So go ahead and click plane and drag in your front view right there and then you get a nice little wall for your light to shine on. So in order to create a light what you need to do is in your create panel go over here to this tab and this is lights. And the first thing that you're going to see is you have a couple of different options first from this drop down list. You have photometric and standard. What you want to do is go to standard. Standard is pretty much just like the basic lights. Photometric, um, we're not going to be messing with them this tutorial, but whenever you create a photometric light, it's going to give you a bunch of parameters based on real um, measurements that you would like actually base a real light bulb on. Since we're just going to be working with computerized lights, uh, we're going to be working with standard. Now, aside from that, photometric and standard, we also have all of these options target spot, um, target direct, omni, skylight. The only two I'm going to tell you about for now are, are Omni and Spotlights. Those are the two easiest and by far the two most common. Omni lights right here, these are like light bulbs. So if you put an Omni light in your scene or animation, it's going to light up everything like a light bulb in every single direction. If you make a Spotlight, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial, it only lights a certain part of your um, image or animation object whatever you want to call it so if we want to only shine light on a certain object we need a spotlight so again omni is like a light bulb spot is just like a spotlight like you would see I don't know when they use spotlights anymore talent shows high school talent shows maybe I don't know but we're about to find out so go ahead and click on target spot and in order to create one go to your top view and your plane is right here just click and drag somewhere right here now as you can see already that we have a little light on our screen right here and this uh, pretty much um, resembles a camera like we did before we have our main light source right here which is a spotlight and our target is a square box and we can move either of these around using the basic selection tools so we can move this main camera around we can also move this target around so put your target somewhere close to the screen uh, it doesn't really matter where and now go in your perspective view so we can uh, view all these parameters. So zoom out a little bit. Actually, why not zoom in? Zoom out, zoom in. Hey, just zoom somehow. So in order to change the light parameters, what you need to do... Actually, let's go ahead and render this just because you guys wanted to see it real quick. So that is our spotlight on the screen right here. So we took a light, shined it on the screen, it created a circle for now. So now anytime we want to mess with these parameters, what we need to do is select our light and then go in our modify tab and we can see that all of these lights have parameters right here. So the most basic um, parameters are in the general parameters right here. From here you can turn your light on, off, you can also change it real quick to a spotlight or omni light and look at this. Probably should click that. And omni light pretty much lights up everything. So that was your real quick tutorial on what Omnilight did. But let's change that back to spot because we're going to be going over spot in this tutorial. The targeted, if you check this on and off, it takes away your target or puts it back. And this little number next to target, let's go ahead and leave that target on. This little number next to target it is, I lost my light, it is the distance that the camera is away from the target. So if you decrease that, then your target right here is going to move closer to your camera right here. So let's do that and we'll decrease it so our target now moves closer to our camera. So we want it right about there. And now we can click it back on so we can see our target. So aside from that we see this one button exclude. Anytime we want to use this exclude button go ahead and click that and this brings up a little dialogue. 
And what this allows you to do, if you want to exclude or include only a certain amount or certain objects in your um, uh, animation, this is how you can do it. So we only have one object right here, and we want to include it, so we're not going to mess with it. But if we want to exclude it, what we would have to do is put it over here, and anything in this box would not be illuminated or not be lit up. But don't mess with that most of the time. So those are the general parameters. Now let's move on to something a little more interesting. This intensity and color attenuation. This multiplier right here is multiplies the light's intensity. So for example, if we put it to 2 or somewhere around 2, then when we rendered it out, the light would be 2 times as bright as before. So that's what the multiplier does. So aside from that, you also have, let's bring that multiplier down a little bit good enough you also have this little white box right here this is actually a color swatch what this does is change the lights color so if we double click that and we change the light to red or something dark red let's lighten that up a little bit it's a bit uh too red for my taste and now we go ahead and render this out now our light has changed from I don't even remember what it was before yellow or something now it's red so now we got a red light now we got a red light now we got a red light and anyways, moving on, aside from my song, what attenuation, I'm not going to mess with it from this tutorial because I hate messing with it, but I'm going to tell you what it is. Attenuation is how light fades over a distance. So if you want to make your light fade over a distance, then mess with the attenuation. But you know what? I don't want to, so I'm not going to mess with it. And aside from these, I'm going to go over one more of the main ones, and that's spotlight parameters. Um, the only two things you need to know here are really hotspot, which is, if you see me scroll right here, you see that there are actually two circles right here. The hotspot is pretty much the brightest spot in the middle, and the fall off is how it fades on its edges. So let me click this and render it, and you can see, well you can't really see the hotspot because it's so bright in the middle, but maybe if I do this. Maybe if I brought my fall off way out and then brought my hotspot in a little bit and select the right scene. And I still can't see it that good, but uh, my light must be too intense or something. But the hotspot is where it's the brightest, and the fall off is pretty much the fading part or the gradient part. So once you mess with it a little bit, you'll figure it out. But for now, um, those are real quick. Uh, basics on how to do that so if you want to like expand your light over distance or concentrate it on a certain point then you're going to mess with hot spots and fall offs and all that good stuff but for now that is that for the light tutorial again we don't really need to go over all these these are pretty some advanced stuff that we don't use all that often and i really want to get into animation which i'm going to be going over next tutorial so you know what i don't got time for lights so thank you guys for watching make sure to check out my next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. So thank you and I'll see you next time.